All right, today I'm going to show you how you can get past the delay on the iPod password. If one of your friends is a prankster or maybe you've just accidentally entered your passcode the wrong way too many times, the device is going to time out and make you wait increasingly long level uh, periods of time before you can enter the passcode again. Now, I don't have an hour or 30 minutes to wait to get back into my device, so what we're going to do is take this iPod that's been disabled. You can see it has 27 minutes left before you can even try to enter your passcode again. So we'll connect the device to a Windows 7 computer. It's the only way it's going to work. Plug in your USB device, uh, your USB cable, data cable, to the computer, and the other end, of course, to the iPod. And again, you can see that it is disabled. I'm going to set it right there so you can see what's going on. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to open up the Gecko Toolkit. And once that launches, there's a good chance that iTunes is going to try to open up here in just a second because it's going to detect the iPod connected to the computer. And there it is. So let's go up here and close iTunes. And you know when iTunes launches accidentally, you usually have to wait a while until you can shut it down. Let's go ahead and close that. And we'll come down here and approve the little warning thing that says, and let's go ahead and cancel the sync also. I don't need to sync my device. Now it's gonna take a minute here for the Gecko Toolkit to launch. And what we're gonna look for is a second tab here that says iPhone disabled. If you click on that tab, you can use the drop down menu to select your device. In this case, it's going to be a second generation iPod. Click on the bypass button. Now this dialog is gonna instruct us to put the device into DFU mode. In order to do that, we're going to have to turn the iPod off. And yes, we could have done this sooner. I'm going to do it right now. Go ahead and let that power all the way down until you see the little wheel spinning and the screen blacks out. Now you're going to press the power button and then the home button. So the power button for just until the Apple shows up and then immediately to press the home button, hold them both until the screen blacks out. Now you can release the power button, but continue holding the home button. And probably in a couple of seconds here, we're going to see a dialog on the computer that says it's detected the device in DFU mode. And we'll probably attempt to launch iTunes again. So we'll have to go ahead and close that down. Let's get rid of that. Just click OK. And we know it needs to be restored, but we're not going to restore it. We're just going to close iTunes and go over here to the prompt on Gecko Toolkit at, that it instructed us to put the device into DFU mode. Go ahead and click OK on that. And now we're going to wait a couple of minutes. And what we're looking for is for the device to display the Apple with the progress bar. And that will, there's a little white flash on the screen. Don't worry, that's not a bad sign. Again, this now we see the Apple's appeared on the screen with the progress bar, but the progress bar is not moving. At that point, we can go and close the top the the foremost dialog on the screen here go ahead and close that leave the gecko toolkit open and then you'll have another prompt and all you have to do at this point is click ok and then sit back and wait it's going to run its little routine here on the device and it's going to basically bypass that little timeout we have and again yes this will oh and by, by the way you're going to have but a dialog here with a yes or no option go ahead and click n for no and then enter And just be kind of patient here. Again, it's going to run through this little routine. It doesn't take too long, all things considered, a lot less than 30 minutes or 60 minutes. Uh, when that finishes, you're going to see the Apple appear on the device again. And from this point, it will reboot. And when it turns back on, you won't have that little red bar across the top that's going to prevent you from entering your passcode. So uh, this is my old 2G, so it's a little bit slow. It takes a while to boot up. And now you see the normal progress bar, and it's actually going to start moving this time because it is bypass that little security deal and going straight to a normal boot up and password prompt. And at this point, you can go and enter your passcode and proceed as usual using your device. You don't have to wait an hour and you can laugh at your friends because now they can't lock your, cannot lock you out of your device permanently unless they change your passcode. If they do, then it's going to be a different story and I'm going to address that. Uh, basically, we'll do a video upcoming which will show you how you can completely bypass the I, um, iPod disabled screen.